Few thrillers have happy endings. Risking the lives of a number of anxious, desperate individuals is a recipe for disaster. The ingenious proposal for ISS is to compete amongst humans in the most spectacular space station ever built. As hostilities escalate on Earth, spectators are led to believe that the well-intentioned scientists on board the eponymous cross-cultural accomplishment would not escape unscathed. The word high concept seems to imply the exact opposite of what it actually signifies. Although it may suggest something deep and philosophical, it really describes narratives that are well suited to being condensed into a couple of sentences. Jaws, Jurassic Park, and The Matrix are classics that brilliantly brought abstract concepts to life. If ISS is successful in its aims, it may inspire more high concept science fiction films to return to theaters. So, what exactly is ISS? The International Space Station, as the film's solemn prologue explains, is a magnificent feat of teamwork. Following the space race, the United States and the Soviet Union put aside their disagreements in order to build a spaceship that could be used by both countries for scientific research. The first scene of ISS takes place on the space station, where the young astronaut Dr. Kira Foster, a committed biologist, meets her new co-workers. The Russian cosmonauts Weronika, Nishalai, and Alexei are joined by her two American co-workers, Christian and Gordon. While she is busy setting up her lab and getting the mice ready for orbital experiments, she learns about the ship's social structure. Although there are times when misunderstandings arise due to linguistic and cultural barriers, Americans and Russians generally get along. Even Gordon's love relationship with Weronika is kept under wraps. Kira looks out the window and witnesses the beginning of several catastrophic explosions devouring Earth's surface as everyone settles in for months in a cramped area with their newfound siblings of circumstance. The crew of the International Space Station learns that their homes are being torn apart by a nuclear war, but all they can do is watch in dread from orbit. One message gets through despite their poor communications. After receiving instructions to capture the ISS, Christian is instructed to do whatever it takes. Realizing that their Russian colleagues would probably get a like request, their astonishment turns to terror. Christian is eager to get things done, but Kira and Gordon are keeping him focused on what's still ahead. As further information becomes available, the dispute intensifies. There is an immediate need to replenish the station since its orbit is too low. They will start free falling towards the surface in one day if they do not get help. Plus, the war-torn globe below may benefit much from Alexei's study. A battle that the astronauts and cosmonauts can only observe from orbit forces them to fight for their lives and determine the outcome of the combat. Where does ISS conclude? Gordon puts on an EVA suit and tries to repair an antenna when the Americans get their mission. In the midst of their story exchanging as he slithers across the station's handholds, his communications abruptly come to a standstill. Meanwhile, Alexei cuts a wire and substitutes a fake one in order to conceal his sabotage. At the same time, Nishalai appears to be killing Gordon by piloting the station's arm and knocking him off. When Weronika learns that her accomplice has murdered an innocent man, she feels furious and humiliated. Weronika is demanding an audience while Christian attempts to form an alliance with Kira. To unlock the locks that protect each other's research, she offers Kira her key in exchange for her own. Nika states that the potential radiation illness solution developed by Alexei may be used to end the nuclear war if one of the governments were to take control of the International Space Station. Nika is adamant that Kira take the research, get on a Soyuz rocket, and go to Earth while they wait for the possible help. As a diversion, Nika says she'll blow up the station, but Christian sneaks up behind her and fractures her skull. Now that Nika is dead, Nishalai decides to seek out the Americans by pulling out a screwdriver. No, Alexei will not assist his brother in murdering their co-workers. Alexei discovers Gordon is barely holding on as Kira and Christian take cover in a storage room. After he utilizes the arm to return to the station, he assists Kira in evading her brother. Gordon shows there, drags Nishalai into a room that isn't even occupied, and the two men murder each other at the same time. In a covert operation, Christian destroys the station's ability to sustain life. He admits that he was aware of Kira's plot to steal Alexei's findings and leave them high and dry. During a heated debate, Kira manages to connect with Alexei by using some of the Russian that Nika taught her. Christian attempts to convince him that he can bring life support back online. It turns out that Alexei can do it as well. Alexei and Kira launch an assault, and Christian is suffocated to death using a keepsake that was given to him by Gordon. A knife wound is inflicted on Alexei during the struggle. The communication system turns back on by itself once they restore life support. Alexei and Kira are unaware of the identity of the incoming helper. Bringing Alexei's study on board the Soyuz, they set sail. Their headphones are inundated with radio transmissions from Moscow and Houston. Alexei switches off the radio, letting the Soyuz and its vital cargo go where they may. The intriguing notion is competently carried out by ISS. The viewer is kept on edge throughout the tightly wound duration by the taut, subtle tension. Although it may not bring about a global revolution, this picture is very enjoyable. When it opens in theaters on January 19, 2024, the ISS is waiting for you. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.